When we sat down to eat, I learned some things about Majid. He showed me pictures of his little cousin, was the spitting image of him, and could have been his child. He swore he wasn't though. Then he told me a little bit about his ex and how they were still really good friends. The most shocking thing he told me was that he'd impregnated several women in the past, but they all got a boy. Um, I thought that was strange to share, and it made me wonder why he didn't just use condoms. I told him I always use protection because I'm not willing to take birth control for getting a boy. He sulked when he heard that. Was he trying to get women pregnant on purpose? Majid also let me know that he didn't eat pork and couldn't kiss or be intimate with me if I had consumed pork that day. I had to brush my teeth before kissing after having pork. That one threw me off and I didn't know what to say. Did I have to take a shit and shower before having sex with him if I ate pork earlier too? Javier took me to a barcade called Headquarters in Lincoln Park. When we got inside and Javier was standing next to me with the ceiling over our head, I immediately noticed that he lied to me about his height. He was about 5'11 or 6 feet. He definitely wasn't 5'7 like he told me. This was a pleasant surprise, along with seeing the way his arms looked in the crew neck sweater he was wearing. I started taking all of him in. His thick black hair was pulled back into a bun. The outfit he chose looked perfect on him. I could tell his waist was thick and toned underneath his clothes. And his pants were just the right fit. He looked down at me with his pretty eyes, prominent nose, and full lips, and I instantly started lusting. I knew I was going to fuck him. <laughs> when Andres got there, it wasn't immediately noticeable that something was off with him. He came in and we went upstairs to my bedroom. When I sat down on the bed, he positioned me between his legs and I laid my back against him while we watched the movie. But 30 seconds in, he was kissing on my shoulders and rubbing me. I wasn't expecting to have sex so soon after he got there, but I just went with it. He turned my face towards his to kiss me and that's when everything started going down here. This man's mustache smelled like booty. It literally smelled like he ate ass and then came straight to my house. 